All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do a 4v4 on the map arena between me and the viewers. Oh, wait, no, sorry. It's going to be a 3v5, actually. I'm going to be playing as the Slavs. We're making it a 3v5 to try and, of course, balance the teams a little bit as, uh... Uh, okay, it looks like the, the lobby froze for a second there. I was about to say, there are players in here of a wide variety of skill levels, and a 3v5 should help make this quite a bit more fair. This might be a tricky one to win, but we're going to try our best this game. You guys voted for me to play as the Slavs in the Twitch chat, so Slavs this game. Good night, Daw. Have a good one. Always a pleasure. All right, let's do this, guys. I have, a, I have a strategy in mind, a specific strategy that you guys have also asked a lot for that I haven't really had too much of a chance to do on stream yet. Now... In case anyone's actually listening, I won't talk too much about it until the thing actually happens. However, if you are uh, still listening to the stream while you're in this game, it'd be great if you could mute that so that, uh, one, I can go talk about my strategy a little bit more, and two, so the, uh, you know, we don't lag, I guess. So you should just pause the stream while we're in here. So if you're still listening to this, make sure you give it a pause. I'm gonna build two houses at the start and uh, start, you know, working on our, our game plan here. Since this is Arena, it's of course a map in which we start with walls, and what that means is that early aggression not really too favored here, uh, generally speaking. You won't see too much aggression uh, in the Feudal Age or Dark Age. People generally wait to the Castle Age, because that's when you have access to siege weapons. Little Marinis, this is going to be the last game of the day, as I generally do three. Three games. Hope this one goes well. I've got, I've got plans. Of course, you can always check the video title to go figure out whatever's uh, whatever's going on here. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, the newest version of my custom AI will have already been released, 5.1c in the Steam Workshop. So if you're looking for something fun, made by myself, of course, over several years, uh, you know, fun AI to go play with your friends. Uh, it's a great way to practice, learn the game. It's like the only AI out there. Well, I guess uh, since I, I made this, Brute Force now does this as well, but basically it's the first AI to like automatically scale the difficulty of the game. Uh, to match the enemy skill as well. So, that always creates a really, really strong game, and it's always just fun to play with your friends. Really love that. It'll already be on, uh, it'll already be on the Steam Workshop by the time you watch this on YouTube, but if you're watching on Twitch, it comes out next week! Hello, Apple Swag! And Ipsosis! Welcome, guys. A little bit of that delay. Okie uh... See how this is going. If you guys haven't checked out the the Empire Collective website, I guess I'll just I'll just go talk about channel junk uh, in the early game while we're just making bills. I've been working on the Empire Collective uh, with Zero Empires, of course, for a while now. Uh, Kickstarter is almost over, and uh, it's basically a big tournament, a pro league for Age of Empires 2, and it's going to be sick. And that uh, the games start really, really soon. So you should start seeing those in uh, early to mid July. Now I won't be able to actually cast all of those games with him. Because, at, le at least at first, I won't be able to. Because uh, I'm going to be on vacation uh, during the, the 4th of July and then the next week as well. So uh, I will miss out on a couple of those, but I'll definitely be casting a lot of games of Zero Empires. The tournament's looking, like, really solid. We have some pretty good players in there already, and I, I'm very much looking forward to casting that. If you want to get in on my Twitch live stream, of course, you can just head on over to my Twitch page. I have a link on the screen and in the video description. You scroll on, uh, scroll underneath the video player to find the schedule. Easy sneezy. Now, a little bit more about what the game plan is here. Like I said, Arena is all about that Castle Age and Imperial Age aggression. It's such a fun map, one of my favorite ones. And the Slavs are, of course, a civilization added in the Forgotten Expansion to AoE 2 HD Edition on Steam. I really like uh, the Slavs. It'd be really cool. A uh, good comparison to them in terms of playstyle would be the, uh, the Celts. The Slavs are an infantry and siege civilization with a very similar set of strong units, much like the Celts. They have very strong siege, very, very strong infantry, and their their big gimmick, I think their defining characteristic, is that their infantry in the Imperial Age, when you get this really expensive technology uh, that I keep mispronouncing, I think it's called like Dragina, it makes your infantry units do area of effect damage. Now this gate goes to nowhere, that sucks. They, they do area of effect damage. They cleave, and that is incredibly, incredibly strong. You would be surprised how useful that actually is. They make champions super OP. They also make halberdiers really, really strong in the late game. To make up for this, much like the Celts, their archer range is not very good. Their stable is okay, and their unique unit is, of course, the Boyar. The Boyar is a really fun uh, to use unique unit. Think of it as like a mounted Teutonic Knight. It's a very, very bulky uh, heavy cavalry unit. It's, it's a knight with a very strong 
melee armor, slightly lower uh, pierce armor. And I mean, like, very strong melee armor, which makes them very hard to counter with the traditional uh, halberd ears and candles. So we're just going to shoot this boar twice, bring it in here. I'm going to delete the hole in the wall so it's easier to lure this. Luring it, of course, is much more efficient than simply just walking your, uh, you know, walking your villagers up to that boar. They've spent so much time walking, it's just very not a good idea. I think I'm missing a few sheep, so playing around that's going to be a little, little tricky business, but uh, life goes on, yeah. Just gonna make sure that all my villagers are working on something in the meantime while I'm on the quest for sheep. Ah, there we go, good. Found some sheep. Also found my deer. Fortunately, they are like dangerously close to Iron Justice over here, so uh, I don't think these sheep, I mean these deer, are like very safe to harvest from. So I might just not uh, grab those this game, man. In, in the early game, it's just all about making villagers, guys, making sure your town center is always working, setting the foundation for your economy, and. When I say setting the foundation for your economy, it's basically all about this idea of just heavy, heavy food and wood. You're not really going to need that much gold and stone in the early Dark Age, at least. You should really only start thinking about mining those as you're advancing to the Feudal Age or close to. That's an interesting question, Dutch class. I think I'm really far away from 250 subs. That would be amazing. I can't wait for the day that that happens, if it ever does. That would be so exciting. I don't think I'd ever do a 12-hour stream, though, because I feel like it wouldn't be very high quality. I'm not a man of lim limitless stamina, especially considering my asthma and allergies, so it's, uh, I don't know, man. I don't think I would want to do that. I don't think it would be very good. I'd be so tired by the, close to the end. I would rather just, you know, just do content that I think will be, like, really good to watch. And I don't think a 12-hour stream will necessarily be the greatest thing in the universe that I've ever done. I don't think it would be that good. So I probably won't do that. That being said, I will do, I, I, I'm, I'm down to do like some extra streams, uh, something a little extra lengthy. I don't, I don't know. I, there are, there are multiple ideas. I'll be doing a cool stream for the release day of the new expansion for AV2, which is coming soonish. I don't know. Sometime within the next few months. Yeah, there's no way I could, I handle a 12 hour stream. That's not, <laughs> there's no way. See, that'd be so hard. Uh, I'm, I'm just the Goths, which is actually, yes, I'm adjacent to the Goths and not the Britons or some huge archer sieve. My archers are garbage. This is fantastic. So I need alcohol. Dude, my tolerance is so bad because all the antihistamines. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, man. I, I might do something like that. Oh, that is such a good mill placement. He's like right next to deer and he has extra bushes. Well, Ray quit, you sly dog. Look at that value. What a mill. I'm just going to assign all those villagers uh, onto something that they can gather from without getting stuck. I like the slobs a lot. You, you can see their bonuses here real quick. Splash them on the screen. You can always pause it. Boom. We're going back. I think it's time to advance after one more villager. The game plan here, guys, is uh, I don't think I've like ever utilized monks ever. Uh, we'll see. But I, I would like to use some monks this game. The the Slavs do have, like, I think it's orthodoxy is their unique, one of their unique technologies when they get in the Castle Age, which I think gives their monks extra armor. Might be wrong on that, as I've, it's a tech I've never used. I don't generally go for monks when I play Age of Empires 2, as I usually find that it's just it's not really like my playstyle. However, in the name of variety, it's something that I would like to try today, and we'll see if that works out. Without deer, my, my castle age timing is going to suffer a little bit, but that's that's inevitable. There's not too much I can do about that. I'm just going to you know, put everything on food, and life goes on. We'll survive. Cool man has a very high score. That's a little nerve-wracking. These are the Italians. We might... This might be a very hard game to win, considering that they have uh, you know some apparently decent players there. 385s can be really tricky because they have so much of a population lead in the late game. But the goal is, is if I can put on some pressure here, uh, bring the love to Iron Justice. We'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes off. Yep, gives monks plus 3 plus 3 armor. Actually makes them very tanky. It's a pretty good bonus, I think. Uh, the problem is, is you need castle first. They said fall of 2015. Okay, Sephora says that the new expansion for AV2 HD... African Kingdoms, which I made a post on my Facebook about recently. Talking about the details. Five new civs and whatnot. Very exciting. It's apparently scheduled to be released in fall of 2015. So that's really cool. I'm in no rush, though, to see it. I would rather them you know, take the time to make sure it's polished. And The decision in the rest of the Forgotten Empires team has had a very good track, uh, very good track record. I'm really glad that they're working on it. 
I think that besides the lack of voice acting in the campaigns, it really, like, they couldn't have done much of a better job with The Forgotten. Like, it feels like something, at least to me, that Microsoft would have done. I think the art style just fits perfectly. The balance changes were, you know, mostly rock solid. I love the new text. It, it was just super cool. Uh, and I like that it didn't change too much. And I hope that the African Empire's expansion, you know, follows, follows suit and they don't change too much. It should feel like a familiar game. Now, I think that I would like a second lumber camp. Now, I'll just build it over there. Screw it, man. It's time to advance to the next stage. Obviously, I could have done this a lot faster, but when I'm streaming, it's just so much multitasking. Just, oh, so much. We're going to get cartography, which is free in the Forgotten. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's only melee armor? I thought it was plus three, plus three digital blues. I'm like 99% sure. And yeah, we're doing three on three again. Uh, tar uh, let's see. Taste horrible. Or taste arable. All right, I think I, think I nailed it eventually. We're doing a, yeah, we're doing a 3v5 again, as it's a nice way to try and balance these teams. Well, in retrospect, we probably could have set it up in a 4v5. I never, I don't think I played with Catharsis, so I don't actually know. But I'm going to try my best this game, and it's okay to lose. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. We'll see. It looks like everybody in this game so far is doing good work, so we probably should have made it a, a, uh, a 4v4, but I, I have some faith. Cool man's just pulling his weight here. And I, I keep forgetting, but Forge's Down is a lot better than uh, than his rating would, would appear. Always get double bid X when you're going for just really like anything. Like once you're starting to get to the castle age, once you've clicked, uh, clicked the castle age button and you're advancing, you just just get double bid X. It's such a strong technology, man. It makes all the difference. You gotta get double bid X, guys. Save a life. Boost your wood cutting because really, like from wood, one gets all of the resources. It's just very very important. And we're gonna get ready to build a monastery, a siege workshop, and whatnot. When it comes to monks and mangonels, and something I've talked a little bit about in my break the meta series is that uh, the monks themselves, very strong against knights, a very good counter to knights in the castle age as they, you know, they just convert expensive units. And it's just such good value. You, you basically kill an, a unit from the enemy and then you, you get one for yourself. That's just so strong. And uh, the thing is though with monks is they're really bad against like cheap mass range units because you don't get much value out of converting anything in that case and the monks just get gunned down. Whereas the monks have a chance to convert the knight before the knight actually gets up there. Uh, so that's why monks and mangonels are such a good thing. We're gonna we're gonna build the monastery not like right inside his base because I don't really want him to know that this is coming until it's too late I guess I think I'll get wheelbarrow right now I also don't want to be too aggressive with this I think I think I want to focus on getting some aspect of an economy out as well I think I don't want to all in here because it's a three v five so I could build a siege workshop right now but I think I'm actually gonna build a town center and build a siege workshop once I have like a monk or two uh, we'll see how that goes. I want that relic in front of his base. Relic's very important on a map like Arena, and uh, first monk coming out. First catch of the day. Siege workshop as well. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to put it uh, a little bit close to him because they're so slow. And now the show begins. Looks like Cool Man's scores dropped a little bit, but uh, Forge is down, just pulling his weight. This is going to be such a, such a tricky game. But Rage Quit has a value mill, so we should be good to go. If I miss any of your messages in the Twitch chat, Ask again in a few minutes, I'll get to you. I'm just... Tension's divided, man. He's too much multitasking. More monks on the way. I need a little bit more wood, I think. I'm gonna need more gold soon. Oh, this, this is a struggle. I need wood. Maybe I'll grab that here. Oh, I'll grab these relics first. <laughs> While I'm waiting for wood, I'll go grab some relics. I might just actually just buy my way to a mangonel. I want to start putting pressure on now. Except I, I need more gold now. The struggle. I don't need this food though, so I just just plop out. We're getting low, low, low. Build this. I want this relic first before I start applying the pressure. In fact, I want both of them. If I can get both of them. The relics are just going to make a huge difference here. And the mangonel is coming down. Another monk is coming down. I can add in a second monastery if I so desire. And I might just do that. But I'm going to build another mining camp on the other side of this. Again, it's all about efficiency. I want my villagers to spend less time walking. Yes, and Wololo, it's finally happening. The Snash Newt, always a pleasure to have you. Welcome back. More farms. Just trying to balance my economy kind of carefully here. We got the mangonel so I can start poking at him. Oh, yeah, I'm finally I'm finally making monks on stream. It, like, I don't think it's ever happened before. This game might just be really hard because they have, like, three dudes on their team that appear to be quite proficient. Uh, and that's just always nerve-wracking. 
So I'm gonna need another one of these guys. Yep, we're gonna need another one of them. Grab this here relic. The relics are also super important when going for said strategy. I got my my scout here defensively as well, so. Yeah, we're just gonna throw on a few more gold miners, perhaps. Uh, lumberjacks as well. It's really trying to get a an economy that can support this type of attack. Uh, I don't need to go too hard on the food department, so again, we're just pressuring here. The Mangonel is also great because it, it prevents him from like building on the other side, uh, reinforcing these walls. The the monks as well can convert that. Uh, that's that's our scout. Okay, that's good. I have another Mangonel coming out now, which will exponentially increase the damage of this attack. One of the best ways to deal with this, of course, is with crossbowmen. Your own mangonels, just make sure they don't get converted, of course. Uh, light cavalry and eagle warriors are fantastic if you can afford to make them. They're just they're just so good in this case. So I got two relics here, which is great. I, I think I'll actually try and grab the third one if I can. I, I think that that's probably just not going to happen. And yeah, we're just making some we're just making some monks. Uh, he's trying to come out here and convert some of my. I mean, he's just sending garbage units at me, which is what you kind of have to do in this situation. Hopefully my spearmen uh, can handle it, because now I have a bunch of his spearmen. I just converted all of his. Notice how I select my monks individually to convert these guys individually, because I don't have that tech to go do it all at the same time. We're not we're not that fancy. We're not in the Imperial Age yet. So, we'll just put more stuff over here. I'm on two TCs, which is good. I want to make more, though. Uh, and yeah, we just try and heal tank him a little bit. We're making some like serious progress in here. The spearmen was a decent idea. I feel bad for... Uh, Iron Justice, I, I own a game where I don't monk rush him, but, you know, his teammates are scary. I, I would like to monk rush someone else's team as well. Uh, we'll see if I, I get a chance to do that later. I think I'll probably have to transition to something else, though, at some point. Uh, da -da -da -da. What's going on over here? I think I need to convert one of these. The, the, the pikeman thing is kind of obnoxious. We'll see if that pans out. Maybe I need to throw in scorpions for this situation. I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of converting his guys. I don't really think any of my monks have enough faith uh, to perform a conversion right now, which sucks on some level. But I'm just going to keep heal tanking his guys, and, and hopefully that works. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be kind of tricky for me. I think I need to make something else in addition to what I have. I think I need to make scorpions or something. How about this? Uh, how much how much faith do we have now? 82 percent, 80 percent, 90. God, you guys just take so long to get faith. Have ye a little faith. I'm gonna try and convert both of them if I can. Come on, man, convert him in time. World's longest conversion, but we got him. And I have a scorpion on the way as well, which is sick, and now I have a huge army of their own dudes. <laughs> Don't share needles, but share an army. That's fine. I like this a lot. This is so much fun. What a great strategy this is. I love the strategy. Too bad I have no more mangonels, so I can't really apply too much pressure in here. But yeah, I like that Bob Jimmy's also helping him with Pikeman. That's nice. I would like to see Scout Cavalry, though. Scout Cavalry would devastate this army. Except now it won't, because now I have an army of spearmen! You guys have the Zero Empire's Wololo emotes. Uh, now it fits perfectly. Gonna clear this up. Oh, shit! Just deleted a TC. No one saw that. That never happened. Whoops. Mistakes were made. It's okay. I'm just gonna convert some of these guys. Try to delete those walls, but sometimes... I, I can't see my cursor. Because it's like covered in like brown since the... Uh, since the 4.2 update, so I actually can't see anything. Which makes this a little harder. Which makes this a little harder. But uh, I'm just gonna say that that was just elaborate BM. And I'm gonna go make up for that by just buying my way to another TC. Just elaborate BM. It's always BM, guys. This, everything is planned. Really, I didn't like that TC positioning anyway. I wanted to move it one tile back. <laughs> now that, that's efficiency. That's the German efficiency right there. We're gonna adjust the eco a little bit. I mean, bow saw is an order. So yeah, we're just, we're just moving up in the world. Yeah, mistakes were made. I, I can't convert that barracks because, ah, Jesus. Right in the face. I can't convert that barracks because I've done a redemption. Kill it! Kill the fire! We did it. <laughs> now I can convert my own guys. Look at the scorpion value, by the way. Get handcart. Stream a few more monks out. 
Uh, I would like a second monastery, I think. I think that'd be good, yeah. Get a second monastery. I, I see some value in this. Just constantly making dudes. Uh, da -da -da -da. God, I'm killing his I'm killing his units too fast. I need to convert some before I kill them. All right, there we go. I have a skirm now. Give me this one. Give me it. Give me it. Yes. <laughs> Your army belongs to me now. This is actually sick. Oh, we might we might actually be in good shape here. Looks like the pressure is just really iron justice isn't uh, isn't uh, in the best shape right now, which is fine. I I, I don't like rushing in uh in three v fives. It's all in the name of fun, right? But uh, God, I keep killing his guys too fast. My army is too powerful. But I think it'd be really hard to win if I just let them boom. I don't think it's even feasible that I, I possibly win this if they boom. So build another one of these. I'll probably have to throw in like pikes or something, transition into the infantry and siege at some point. Can't make monks all game. I don't think I'll get the orthodoxy upgrade. It requires a castle. I mean, that's just not going to happen, right? I want to convert this mangonel, but I can't do it right because I don't have uh, none of redemption. Okay, cool. So that should just kill that. Yeah, dude, that that mangonel micro is sick. I might be in slight amount of trouble here. As I, I, I'm running out of uh, unit production, I just need to boom up a little bit. That's why I was, you know, just had some economy on the back of this. So, you know, we're, we're okay. Oh, my houses aren't perfect anymore. So we're still struggling a little bit as there are two dudes over here at the same time. It's a lot of dudes to deal with. But, I mean, I just grabbed some garbage pikemen. I'm surprised that none of them have any scouts. Scouts resist conversion. Uh, scouts would be good here. I'm surprised, because I think one of them is Huns. And he's Vikings. Still, I mean, even though they're they're just bad, you might as well. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Because he's making cavalry archers as the Vikings. That's weird. Does he think he's Huns? Yeah, that free army, though. Oh, jeez. This is so much fun. I can't see my cursor at all. <laughs> this is so hard after all these years. Ah, experiencing issues in patch, in patch 4.2. Yeah, I said flash 4.2. Ah, uh, you get, uh, just wait, the developers will fix it eventually. In the meantime, you get to enjoy your poop brown cursor. Oh no, the castle's also bad for me. I'll never get through that. This is probably the most units converted in a uh, stream game, definitely, as well. This army might just just be dead. I might just leave it there. I mean, I'm never gonna be able to retreat in time. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really think I can uh, get out of this one, can I? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take into something else. Bit of bare rocks over there. So I get some ticks. Forges down is up to the next stage. That's kind of bad. Now we just transition to something else. I would say that was a pretty successful rush. Disable V-Sync and it will work. Wait, but I have V-Sync disabled. Ha! Ah! Yeah, I just, I, oh man. I'll get used to it eventually, and then they'll fix it. Story of my life. Alright, so now we're just, we're, just, we're just backed up a little bit. Let him have what he wants.
And now I can just transition into whatever I want. That's so much fun. I love it. Just make more barracks. We're good to go. Might need murder holes at some point. I mean, I really like like this stone is just in a bad position, so we're gonna have to gonna have to go grab that. He's super focused. Spam bread. <laughs> oh man, this this look at this scout just resisting conversion. No, ninety three percent. Iron justice banned from the stream. I'm kidding. So I, I have an, uh, I have another scout, which is good because I had to lose mine earlier for science. Get some upgrades. I don't think I have a castle, do I? But I really want uh, Georgina. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but as, as a filthy American, we pronounce everything wrong. Believe it or not, it's not something I do on purpose. It's just as a filthy American, it's it's hard. Okay. I'm gonna want a mill over here, I think. Just keep making stuff. Get this this here technology. And yeah, now we're just we're just waiting for upgrades. Onager is gonna be really useful here. I wish Orthodoxy didn't require a castle. That would be kind of good. Eagle Warriors are potentially a problem for me, so I'll have to tech into Men at Arms. Go for Long Swordsman. I mean, I have some stuff. Hopefully these guys can handle that. I like the Trebbing, that's good. Forge is down as one of their scariest players, so I'm glad he's on my side. I need this castle for Dragina. Which I'll never be able to afford anyway, because it's too expensive. But we're getting there. Uh, da -da -da. No, now they have light cavalry. Well, too bad I stopped making I stopped making monks. <laughs> oh yeah, Pete, that's me. Bastardizing the English language. As always. It's just the defining characteristic of Americans. And pronounce everything wrong. Your omelet do fromage. <laughs> fromage. No, no one actually pronounces it like that. Thank God. They don't have anything valuable to convert. That just sucks. No, 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 fire, fire, fire! I do need redemption, don't I? Redemption is a good technology. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, my teammates are like... <coughs> Alright, rage quit. All right, rage quit. Use your army. Rage quit. It's time to use the army. Please don't mass. Just one at a time. Just one at a time. I know he really likes to mass his guys, but that is like so bad. He should just be like one at a time. Like gather point, like in the enemy base. It's like uh, you just you just a click the nexus guys. <laughs> I mean, one at a time is usually not good either. Uh, but it's much better than uh, never sending your army in. Usually speak. Yeah, generally speaking, yeah. Trebuchet King Snipe, please not again. <laughs> please not again. Oh man, that's worse than deleting your TC. This that deletes that deletes you from the game. It's a pretty big setback. It's pretty hard to win when you're resigned. Something I've never been able to do. <laughs> Although one thing I did with my friends when I was uh, when I was a young whippersnapper, man. Oh yeah, back when I was playing this game in like middle school with my friends and like elementary school. I remember a game where I had nothing left but a monastery with a relic in it and like a couple of houses and I, I, I actually won that game because I, I made a monk, I converted one of my friend's villagers and I, I managed to build back an entire base in the corner while he was like busy preoccupied with the other players.
So, all right, good to see that he's transitioning over on this other side. That is rock solid. Uh, took a while, but he's, he's on the way. And his help over here has been absolutely instrumental in winning this side. That's good. Um, this, this monks and... Okay, sorry. The Halberdiers in Mangadel's combo is a really good one, because Onager is very weak to, like, ranged... Uh, oh, sorry, the, the cavalry units. And Halberdier is really good against those. So, it's just a strong army comp. I'm gonna get Regina now, which is pretty sick. Might make a few stables. You never know if I'll, I'll need them or not. If I need to transition to something else, get my mining camp upgrades. Extremely late, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. I do want Siege Onager. Siege Onager is a thing. And yeah, the Goths are just, they're just so so cool your shoe isn't died. Alright, we're, we're, just, we're just getting there. And uh, this this could be bad until I get... Perhaps, uh, you know, Scorpions in this case sound pretty good. I might Techno Scorpions, actually. Scorpions are going to be very good against those champions, and I, I don't get Arbalists or Gunpowder, so this is one of the best bets I have uh, at dealing with that, so... That, that'll probably be the game plan here. I might make my own champions as well. It's, eh, it's tricky business, man. Don't really know. I, I do need to, like, get a fatter economy. Because I'm not really in a position where I can just sustain troop production yet. I think I'm going to save that for a heavy scorpion upgrade, I think. Okay, so uh, we just get uh, Heavy Scorpion over here. Scorpion should be able to do some degree of damage. We all need more unit production facilities as well. As that's just always the story of my life. I, I don't actually have enough uh, enough villagers to really deal with this. And it's good that Orange uh, is helping Green. I can survive here. I just might you know, lose a little bit of ground, but it's no biggie. I don't think I'm going to die anytime soon. There's one thing I'm good at. It's stalling, I think. So just stall. And they should be able to win their side. This is actually turning out to be a very, very solid game. I'm just... Nothing but good games today. Heavy Scorpion upgrade is on the way. I'm going to need more stuff in addition to Heavy Scorps. The Onagers are going to deal with his siege weapons pretty nicely. Can't... I don't really have the cash for... Um, like, really, honestly, like, uh... Champions right now. I can't really take into champs very easily. I will need gold real soon, yeah. But I have a gold mine still. It's kind of hard for me to trade in the situation that I'm in right now, but it's something I do need to consider, yes. I think that I just build one of these. I mean, like, honestly, spamming halves with Regina is, is just pretty sick, as is. Um, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need, like, assistance over here. His attention span is lacking. We're going to actually need him in multiple locations at the same time. He'll have to set more than one gather point. Come on, Orange! Come on, Orange! Come on! Come on! Right, Orange. It's, uh, it's time. Multiple gather points. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. More stuff, more stuff. Just gotta keep stalling. Can't get anywhere near the pop cap. I can't build a castle either. Ah, everything's falling apart. Siege engineers would be kind of useful, but at the same time, I don't anticipate getting that much value in this situation. Really, I just need to I just need to overwhelm them. I, I don't know where. Where's my backup? There they are. Sick. And now, now we push them back. We're just gonna keep playing this game. Where, uh, where we just push them back. <laughs> Thank you. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, they've been repelled, and now I just rebuild all that stuff. Easy sneezy. I don't really mind. Uh, I can't get to this champion actually. It's funny how that works out. I need fletching. Conscription is a good thing right now. Okay, sick. Uh, just build over there. Getting like farm exhausted thingies going on. Orange, you need. To, like, help us and not attack them directly. Not attack them directly. Mostly focus on green, though. You can only attack enemy pockets if the flanks are winning and we aren't. You need to uh, divert 
attention to green. So he gave me a little bit of space, uh, but yeah, like a general rule of thumb when you're uh, when you're doing team games, guys, is you can go for the enemy pocket only when your flanks are safe and they're winning and they don't need you. Uh, and that's a smart idea there, as you're not like wasting your uh, your time applying unnecessary pressure. However, in a situation where your flanks are not winning, you absolutely cannot uh, cannot go for the enemy pockets. Uh, otherwise, both flanks will lose, which is what's going on right now. Uh, thankfully, though. I have amped up my production facilities. I think we're, we're, we're getting there. And I can just keep spamming these guys. I think that that, uh, I think that'll work. Might need to, uh, make a few trade carts. Looks like orange. Oh my gosh, what's going on over here? Orange! We need your, we need your guys. All right, he's streaming over here. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. But it's okay, I don't wanna, I don't wanna rag in a man. We all come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, you'll have to start somewhere. It is no problem. It's not like it, it matters whether we win or lose. Um, I only point it out really for like, I guess educational purposes, so in your own game you're like, oh, okay, like that's what I, I need to do this, I need to do that. Higgity boogity boogity, you know, that's kinda how it works, I think. I think Zulu will be in the next expansion, we'll see your shoe is untied. I, I, you know, I'm gonna say it's unlikely, but... I don't. I don't work with the developers. Uh, sometimes I, I chit chat with them, but I, I really, I really don't know. I think the next expansion will be Age of Zulu. <laughs> that's the next one. Oh, hand cannoneers. That's that's cheating. But I have uh, I have heavy scorpions, which are actually quite good here. Heavy scorpions do get countered by mangonels, though. So it's just a, it's just a this is a tricky business. Well, either way. I'm gonna lose a lot of units, but I get a lot of value out of just spamming these, uh, you know, these halbs like this. Oh man! I think uh, I think that everyone's been doing a really good job defending this game. Uh, it's been it's been rock solid. Enemy team also doing a good job putting on pressure. I have to point this out. Uh, the forge is down is is very smart by like taking um uh, taking his army and just trying to like get into Orange's economy and just just. Claim as much map control and be as obnoxious as humanly possible. I think that's very smart. Uh, that will win you games. That being said, I'm like low on gold and there's like not an efficient way to trade here. Uh, gate here. This is hard. It's gonna be really hard to actually transition to trade line, I think. Probably unring the town bell there. I can't really, like, help, unfortunately. Uh, the enemy's making a very, like, good choice of units here. That's very hard for me to counter. They know that I'm low on gold. Uh, it's very difficult for me to deal with these siege weapons. With the champions at the front, uh, that kind of, like, clears up my halbs really, really nicely. And with the siege at the back, it's very hard for me to get to said siege. I want to make, like, scorpions and onagers, but I'm never going to have the cash to do that. It's just me and the halbs this game. I might be able to get a good shot off on these hand cannoneers. We'll see. It's gonna be hard. All right, we'll build another lumber camp. I think. Let's make more vills. It's like really, I haven't, I haven't reached the pop cap yet, which means I must not have enough villagers because I don't have enough money uh, to produce. Uh, enough troops, I guess, in this situation. So I must not have enough. I must not have enough uh, villagers. So I'm gonna have to make that. Uh, I, it also means that I, I need more unit production facilities as well. So it's something I'm gonna have to also work on. Uh, this should be there. Another gate is probably in order. I don't want to like. I don't want to let him in my base for free. I need. I need onagers to go deal with that treb. Uh, siege engineers will be really helpful here. I need more farms. I, I mean, I probably do. I think it's actually, I need more lumberjacks for once. Unipath, come on, go this way. Go this way, buddy. You can do this. I don't think I need more farms, per se. I think it's more like lumberjacks that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lacking. She never built that. He, she never built that that gate, but I guess it doesn't really matter. That's just not like this trade line is, is going anywhere. Uh, there's, there's, there's the more lumberjacks I needed. So I'm, I'm just holding the line, man. I'm doing my best. Uh, Orange is also trying to do his best here. Uh, and he's just he's just swarming with halves. What we really need is, like, trade. Uh, gate here, please. 
like a palisade gate or something. I know he's goths, and I, I can't build a gate in his own walls because Nazis. Otherwise, I would do it for him. Like a palisade gate is fine. So I think the three, conf uh, so the confirmed civs are like, we have the Malians and the Berbers confirmed in the new African Kingdom's expansion to AoE 2. Um, I think that the Ethiopians is another one because the guy on the box art looks like an Ethiopian guy. So I think the Ethiopians are certainly one of them. I think the Portuguese is going to be another one. I think there's like one civ up that's like really unclear what it is. It's just kind of up for speculation at this point. I'm honestly not sure what the last civilization uh, might be. Could be anything. Oh my god, he's opening his walls. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Iron Justice gets his revenge. He's making a smart choice of units, though. I like this. This is a this is a real challenge for me. I I, I think though that we are like mostly screwed on on a million different levels here. Take kind of a miracle uh, at this point. Uh, th these two relics have gotten me, or the three relics I have. No, I only got two. Shit. Well, th they they've done a lot. Do you think though that now that he's opened his walls and there's no more choke point, that th this kills the resonance? I think I'm dead. I think we lose. I think we lost. But it's okay. I hope you had fun. No sense in uh, needlessly fighting this out, as I do think that they... Yes. yes. Two poor. If Orange had gold, he could make Huskarls. That'd be sick. But he doesn't, uh, so we don't get Huskarls. Which is fine. Yes, yes. We all did. Next time, maybe we trade earlier. Who knows? Yes. GG well played. Yes. You guys do well though. Good try. Alright, well, you know, we, we get A for effort here. Everyone tried their best, and that's all that really matters. As long as you had fun, you learned something. I think we did though. I know when I'm beat. It's my pleasure. Thanks for playing. Alright, guys! Rip. Oh god, my frame rate! Ah! Oh man, uh, turn-based. All right, guys. <laughs> GG, well played. That was a, that was a tough game. That was a very very tough game. Uh, I think that something that I always have to work on as a player is that, and this is something that in general a lot of players struggle with, is that when you go for some sort of like early, uh, you know, aggression like a monk rush, like I did. Uh, when you go for a monk rush, a mush, as some people like to call it. The thing with the monks and mangonels and just with any early aggression is that it's really easy to, like, not build up your economy all the way. And I think the, the biggest strategy that de can destroy your economy is probably a fast imperial age with the Turks, which I have a few videos on. Um, really, I, I think that I spent too long, uh, you know, making vills. I think I built up my economy a little too slowly, and I just wasn't able to, to get a large enough army. Uh, they had a very strong, like, unit composition on their team is very difficult to, ha to have counters for that. They were focused firing down my own onagers. They basically had everything they needed. Uh, hand cannoneers to deal with my with my halbs. They had their own onagers to deal with my own onagers. Uh, they had champions at the front to go to deal with my halbs. They couldn't really tech in anything else. I wanted to like mass a lot more siege. If I had gold, I could have made a lot more uh, heavy scorpions, I think, to go deal with all of those units at the front with low pierce armor. I mean, that was a really good game, uh, but if I built up my economy like a little bit quicker, I think we would have been kind of good to go. I also think that we were a little careless with our gold at the start. Uh, perhaps like starting to trade sooner, uh, while I think normally is wrong, might be right in this game. It's uh, it's difficult to say. Like like spending all that gold on on monks and mangonels early on might not have been optimal. I think it did a lot of damage, and overall that rush was successful. But like I think I just spent too. I think, I think it took too long for me to, like, make enough fills, I guess. Like, 194 seems like it's a sufficient amount of them. But the thing is, is, is that I, I wasn't able to get to the population cap, so we know it wasn't necessarily enough. Uh, I needed more bills. Uh, the moral of the story as well is that grabbing these relics allowed me to stay relevant in the game for so long. And that on Arena, we can see that trading is very difficult on Arena, especially in a 1v1 when you can't trade at all. Get those relics early. Competing over them in the Castle Age can win games. And having this much relic gold allowed me to just remain competitive and, and, and just fight with them and, and just do a good job. So uh, the relics there, I think, were incredibly substantial. And if I built up my economy like a little bit faster on the back side of it, I think it would have been good to go. I think the enemy team responded pretty well to it. 
uh, by making, you know, like pikemen and skirmishers, which just are not valuable to convert. But, you know, scouts are obviously better in that case, or eagle warriors, because you can, you can charge down my mangonels, and they also resist conversion from monks. It's pretty strong. Good night, Dutch class. Always great to have you, dude. I don't, I don't know that rush uh, worked out pretty well. I'm very happy with that one. Sorry, Iron Justice, by the way. Like, that was that was pretty brutal. I think you responded to that pretty nicely. Um, you know, as you say, you, you should have probably made more bills in the long run. But what I like, Iron Justice, is that both you and Bob Jimmy did a pretty good job uh, holding that off, working together. Uh, I, I like you backed your economy up. In, in the later game, I, I loved your unit choices. Iron Justice, I think, did great. <laughs> I don't like to... Uh, I don't like to uh, you know, rush people in a, in a 3v5 because I want you guys to you know, have fun and not not die that soon, right? But uh, you did a good job. You did a good job responding to it. And thankfully, the monk rush is generally non-lethal, but you know it does a lot of damage. This is a pretty potent rush, uh, in, indeed. Awesome, MN Lindy. Well, I'm so glad to hear that you got a chance to stop by. And yeah, more awesome YouTube content and live streams on the way. Find my schedule below. Uh, yeah. And I got a bunch of really, really fun stuff coming on the way for YouTube, too. So, yeah, the schedule's just below the video player. Yeah, that was a great game, Rage Quit. Always, a, always just fun to play with you guys. I had a blast. GG uh, L0223. A lot of fun. See you, Digital Blizz. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, so far, as always, really appreciate that. We got, we got 20 converted useless units this game, which is pretty sick. I think it's probably my record for conversion on stream. I don't normally make bunks, but it was a blast. Yeah, I also think I needed more unit production facilities. Believe it or not, I actually needed more because my army was dying so fast. That's a tricky thing. And we saw a lot of other things. I have gone over this. Either way, your support is very much appreciated. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave it a like rating on YouTube, as does help out a lot. And of course, I have plenty of other Age of Empires 2 videos on my YouTube channel, as well as videos of other games. If you like this one, you'll probably like those as well. Don't forget to check out the custom AI on the Steam Workshop, but if you're watching live, it'll be uploaded next week. If you're watching on YouTube, it's already there. As always, guys, I just really enjoyed having all of you here. Uh, I'll be back in just a minute to do a quick Q&A before ending the live stream, but that was the last game for the day, Ashy Sky. It was a lot of fun. We had so many great games today, and that was one that I, I, I'm more than happy losing. I think the enemy team just made some, some great unit choices, some good strategy choices, and I, I love that Bob Jimmy was watching the map and he just, he was there for Iron Justice, like, immediately. Like, like, Bob Jimmy's there for you guys. Or Jim Bob, in this case. He's there for you. And, and that was just, that was just super cool to see. Nah, Crabass McGee, done for the day. But I'm going to be right back to a, a quick Q&A. If you're skedaddling for the night right now, and you're not sticking around for the Q&A, wait till I get back from the break so that I can say goodbye to you personally. As always, guys, sports appreciated. We'll be right back in one to two minutes. GG, well played. See ya, octagonal dick. It was, it was my pleasure, Iron Justice. I had a blast. GG Catharsis, you did great. We'll get him next time, man. It's my pleasure, Mr. Uh, I mean, my Linho. Look forward to seeing you again if possible, and yeah, have a good one. Thank you, uh, Hank Bockwurst. Appreciate that as well. Hello, Komongo. All right, we're going to be right back. Uh, I'm going to go to the little boy R's room, and then we're going to do a quick Q&A and then skedaddle for the night.